Hey guys, it's ACM for short here, and I am bringing you the next part in the Paper Mario the Thousand Year Old Walkthrough. We just got a message from X in the last part, and it was telling us, right here it said, Remove the Great Gonzalez posters in the lobby. Okay, so, seems simple, right? You just gotta remove the posters, so what you're gonna do is switch to Flurry, and of course head to the lobby. So, um, in this part we're going to be just battling the champion Rockhawk and doing some funny business that uh, the Glitz Pit has going on in here. So we're just going to go up to this top one. You don't need to blow down all of them. All you need to do is just blow up to this, um, blow on this one that's on the left. Right there, and there will be a key behind it. Now this key is going to lead us to a certain spot, and we're going to get a guidance text message right here that tells us, go to the second floor of the storage room from X. So all we want to do is head to the second floor of the storage room, and I like to switch to Goombella because I like Goombella. And what we're going to do is head to the second story, uh, second story of the storage room. Now, if you remember where the storage room was, it's the building, the room that's directly to the left of Grubba's office. And we're going to pass it right now. Right here. Okay. And it is right here. So we're just going to go in here. It's funny how they didn't lock it up. And um, you're going to go up the stairs like that and go into this room that was locked up so once you open it up what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to switch to Yoshi unfortunately um, so once you do that just fly across like this and I'm gonna switch it back to good old Goombella and what we're gonna do is hit this giant thing out of the way you spin hammer it and bam and you're gonna see Bandy Andy and King K um, and yeah, they're not in the best shape possible. So, uh, all King K says is dot 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 dot. But Bandy Andy gives out some nice information. G Gun Gonzalez, listen to me. Er, man, don't go near the ring when no one is around. Oh, Andy, stay with us, okay? What do you mean, don't go near the ring? So, he says don't go near the ring when anyone's around. But, oh, would you look at that? Whoa, did you see that, Mario? Was that Jolene? What the heck is going on? All right, so Jolene was peeping in on this. What's going? What, what's happening? Huh? I don't. I don't know. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm skipping that Crystal Star or Crystal Star <laughs> Shine Sprite, I've said this plenty of times in my walkthrough. But uh, for those of you who are here for just your first time, I am making a giant collection of Shine Sprite locations towards the end of this video uh, series, the video walkthrough, whatever. And um, yeah. So what you're gonna do is head back to your Major League locker room, and you're going to get ready for the fight against Rock Hop. All right. This is the title match. This is the championship match. This is Rock Hawk. Um, if you don't remember Rock Hawk, he's a giant yellow bird that has barged in on us a couple times, and he's been kind of mean several times. Um, so yeah. All right. So we're gonna wait here for the guard just as usual, and he's gonna walk through Goombella just as usual, and um, he's gonna take us out here. Now something's gonna be a little bit fishy this time. Let's see what's going on. Hey, where do you think you're going, pal, huh? The ring's this way. Yeah, uh, you gotta go this way this time because it's a special match. Yeah, full of shit. So, <laughs> he's gonna take us all the way over here. And, uh, yeah. Slow down, will you, buddy? Why are you going this weird way again? And, you know, he doesn't even reason with us. He just ignores us. And he's gonna take us all the way over here to a room that looks similar to where we first started at. Okay. Now, here we are. It's going to be a, an X, uh, X minor league locker room. Now, he says, you two wait here, and he's going to leave. But this is a minor league locker room, and speaking of which, where is everybody? I know he said to wait here, but Mario, we're going to miss our fight against the champ. So, it's going to uh, flip through the scene where Rockhawk and uh, uh, Grubba are talking. Oh, I almost called him something else. Um, yeah, I don't want to ruin that yet. Um, okay, so this is the the scene. This is where um, you are versus Rockhawk. Okay, now Rockhawk's saying his reasoning is that um, you're scared, and that's why you're not showing up. And and Mario is showing up late, so he says, um, "Well, right there, I think he was just talking trash." And and we'll see him in just a second. So, okay, they are like totally ridiculously late now. I'm gonna find out what's up. And she's going to go feel the doorknob with her no hands and say, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Mario, it's locked. The door is locked. Okay. So.
so here we are. And it's going to flash back to them, and it says, And now for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the Grey Gonzalez. And we're not going to come out because we are stuck in some sort of lobby thing. In a locker room. And now Rockhawk, is, um, this is where he says that um, we were scared. So, we ain't scared, bruh. We ain't scared, bruh. Come on, come on. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. <laughs> Say what again? I dare you, I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what? One more goddamn time. And it's gonna flash back to us right there. Okay, cool. Right on cue. You go, Arrow. And um, right here, uh, Goombell is just basically saying, now it's time for us to take action and get the hell out of here. And so what you're gonna do is I'm just taking a nice little walk, look around what's going on here. Nothing too special. You're going to go over here to this Prince Peach poster and switch to uh, Flurry. Blow the poster out of the way. And you're going to see this room where, obviously, some people have been, um, I don't know why. But here we go. Okay, nothing too special in here. And you're going to go into this locker. And once you come out here, you're going to find an X major league locker room. Um, nothing too special in here. You're going to go to the bathroom. And flush yourself down the toilet. Act, of it, act like it's a tunnel. Just jump on and press down. And uh, it's going to show this little cutscene. The guards are going to be all confused. There you go, there's Grubba's office, and this pl uh, plumbing leads to the Major League locker room that we were in, uh, the bathroom that belongs to that room. So, what we're going to do now is, um, Goombell's going to complain that's gross, and we're going to come right out of the toilet like it's perfectly natural. And we're going to come out here and uh, head straight to the battlefield now, and you're just going to want to straight go up into here. Um, and here we are. Okay. So it's going to do this whole uh, announcement thing. And, um, yeah, Grubba is ready, Rockhawk is ready, um, the audience is cheering because they're, they're surprised that we made it here, you know, it's kind of, um, surprising. And listen to those cheers, Mario, then they love you. Come on, let's go put this oversized rooster in his place, huh? And the cheers are funny most of the time, I, they weren't too funny in this game, but, <laughs> sorry creators, I feel bad for saying that. So, um. Here we go, Grubba's happy to see this, he's, he's um, ready to host the championship, you know, this is making him some money. So here we go, the match starts. Now, what's going to start with is just Goombella saying this one thing real quick, she's going to go, okay Mario, this is it, a match with the champ, let's destroy this guy. And then Rockhawk's going to cut in and say, ha 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 ha, you wimps should have stayed, ooh, in the room. What, what are you saying? Don't tell me it was you who got that security guard to lock us up. You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You're so... So you're the jerk that's been sending us emails about the crystal stars. Huh? I have no idea what you're babbling about. What's a crystal star? No, wait. I don't care. Okay, so obviously he's not the guy that's messing with the uh, crystal stars and the threat mails and all that stuff. So, hmm, okay. So, um, this is possibly one of the best battle themes, and I'll get into this in just a second. His HP is 40, his attack is 3, and his defense is 1. He's really not that hard, guys. He's a pretty simple concept. You should be able to get him very quickly. Um, I tattled him just for you guys, of course. And, uh, like I was saying earlier, this is possibly one of the best battle themes I've ever seen for a boss battle. Uh, I don't know. I really like Partners in Time's boss battles, and, of course, the Kanto Gym Leader, uh song music thingy that's a very good theme stuff so yeah he also has a few attacks he has a uh, one slide attack one attack like that and then one where he grabs onto the roof and now if he grabs onto the roof you're gonna have to hit him with earth tremor um everything else does not work when he's up on the roof you can't hit him or anything and i got really lucky right here um the last turn he got frozen so i was like wow okay cool and uh, i'm just gonna finish him off with ground pound and a hammer and i'm just gonna humiliate him i'm gonna finish him off with a regular hammer <laughs> so here we go, just pound him. Okay, so he's got three. And I'm just going to go for the hammer, which does four. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go, he's out. And okay, so. No! I. Rockhawk, the champ, the undefeated master, have lost to such losers. And it's only going to give you 12 star points because they recognize that he wasn't as hard as, as um, you would think or hope so. And so he's just going to go. Uh, you know, it's going to be this giant riled up uh, what's it, uh, kind of a talk thing. And he's saying basically, like, this is the first time since anybody's ever beaten Rockhawk. This was the fastest 
uh, championship that anybody's ever done. So Mario gets a championship. He gets a, a hand and he cheers and everybody's applauding and oh yeah, Woo. Gonzalez, 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 este. And right here, it's gonna take us. Now we're gonna upgrade. We went from the minor league to the major league, and we get our champs belt. So now we're gonna head to the major league to the champions room. Now the champions room is pretty sweet, and we're gonna go take a look at it. We saw it when we first got here in Glitzville, but now this room belongs to us, and it's very smart by the game developers. Um, the champs bed actually heals star power, which is basically your free way of getting that fully powered HP thing that you usually get in front of final bosses for the chapters. Um, chapter bosses and uh, so that's kind of they incorporated it very well I believe um, I want to give a hand to the creators for that uh, yeah so here we go here's the champions uh, room pretty fancy and see a lot of gold and a lot of mahogany it looks like mahogany and um, <laughs> I'm stupid so so yeah Yoshi's like yeah 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 we finally made it Gonzalez but you know Rockhawk really sounded clueless about the Crystal Star we still don't have any leads on that thing I mean blah 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 because I couldn't hear it <laughs> hang on Gonzalez you hear that? Our voice sounds like it's coming from somewhere oh it's coming from the event let's see what's uh what's up in there you think it's a ghost? hey do you have that thing turned up? It scared me silly. So we got a text message that says, Find the ghost in the champ's room. From X. Okay, so there really is a ghost in here? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they're just saying that because they are cooperating with us. Uh, maybe they're hearing what we're saying. Hmm. I don't know. So what we do now, all you gotta do is have Yoshi, and you just wanna heal up, definitely. Go on top of these presents. Fly over here on top of the doorway, and then fly up here. Now once you get rid of Yoshi, or just put him down or whatever... I spin, hammer it, and break open the vent casing. Walk across here, and um, we're going to hear the voices right when we get to the end of this. Now, this voice is going to sound mighty familiar to us. <laughs> well, that's just perfect. Oh, yep, as long as I got that baby working for me, that old bot ain't going to never get weak. But I'm going to have to... Damn. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start here. And now I can shake the feeling of Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear him. Yep, just like I did to the others, like I did to Pris Munch, the first champ. That voice, it's Groba, he's behind all this, and the missing fighters? I bet locking this room up tighter than a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. Oh my goodness, this is too hard for me to read that fast. I'm very illiterate. So basically, it's Grubba. Grubba is behind the missing people. Grubba is behind the Crystal Star. He's the one that was sending us the threat text messages. He's the one that's doing all this uh, mumbo-jumbo dark stuff behind the scenes of the Glitz Pit. So, we're just going to barge into his room, you know, like the welcome guests that we are. And we're going to head over to his desk. Um, and you're going to talk to his drawer, and you're going to find the paper that talks about this machine that harnesses the Crystal Star's power and drains people's power and gives Grubba power. Um, so, it's pretty, pretty interesting, you know? Like, why? Why would he do this? So, we'll find that out in the next part. Now, right here, we're going to actually get caught. <laughs> Great galloping gulpets. How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me sassfress. You're staring at my secret paper, too. Shut up. You make me sick. Why'd you drink King K Pound? <laughs> Shut up. Straight to the point. Okay, so he's going to take off, and all you got to do is just go right for that save point, of course. And we are going to save up for the chapter boss, which will be in the next part. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of the Paper Mario 1000 Year Door walkthrough. It's been one hell of a ride so far, and here we go. All right? That's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. All right? I'm out. Peace!